<laughs> Excuse me, nerd. We're trying to have a private conversation. That's cool. I'm trying to have a private peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <gasps> oh, my God. Nathan Fillion, what are you doing in here? Well, I'm the captain of Serenity, and my tummy was getting rumbly, so I grabbed a Sammy. I'm Katie. Don't go anywhere. I have to yell at my daughter, but then I need to ask you something when I'm done. Oh, that's super sweet and everything, but in today's day and age, I really, I don't sign boobs anymore. I'm going with Trip to the prom, and you can't stop me. Well, technically, she can, because she's your mom. Don't listen to him. I'm agreeing with you. He knows what he's talking about. He agrees because he doesn't know what's going on. My mom couldn't get out of her prom dress fast enough, yet when I want to get a motel room with my boyfriend, she's all, Woo! Oh, boy! Is this true, Katie? Because if it is, it's going to affect my decision. What decision? Who says you get to make a decision? <sighs> Katie, I'm an actor. Acting is all about decisions, all right? I decide how to say a line. Mm -hmm. I decide when I'm going to furrow my brow. Now, I think that answers your question. Don't you have some place to be? You told me to stick around. Yeah, 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 don't go anywhere. Taylor, I wish my mom had bombed me. I wish she had sat me down and said, you were only 16. There was no rush. There's plenty of time. Mm. See? Nathan Fillion agrees. No, just nothing better than PB and J. But I have first-hand experience with this sort of thing. You have a daughter? No. Sister? No, but on Castle, Beckett and I waited to the end of season four before we finally hooked up. It was all about the wait. Very satisfying. Big ratings. But I didn't even say I was going to do anything. I don't even know if Trip is ready. Well, how do you know that you're ready? Nathan, please. How do you know that you're ready? I don't. Then you wait. And before you decide to do anything, I want you to come to me. And I don't know if I'm going to act like a mom or a buddy or both. But I will be here. Okay, Mom. So that's it. We'll let you go to prom. Mm -hmm. But no motel room. And you have to check in every two hours. Come on, really? Hey, your mother and I have decided. Yeah. Deal. Okay. Braddy, Katie, get in here. Mmm. I love these moments. Okay. I've got to change into my regular clothes and get back out there. Wait, isn't that what you wear to sign autographs? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't wear this for the fans. This is just a little something I do for me. Wait, one more small thing. In two weeks, would you come to Westport, Connecticut and ride an elephant? into my school fundraiser. Did you say elephant? You know it's ridiculous. No, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. Really? Why? I just opened this box of animal crackers. And it was all elephants. It's a sign. Don't you believe in signs? Yes. Of course I do. So you'll do my gala? I'll be there with bells on. You will be there with bells on because you have to dress like you're in Bollywood. It's a DS. Double, Double sign. I'm glad everything worked out for you, but I'm still not going to get my dress. The door's open now, and someone definitely grabbed it. Uh, ring them up on your phone for me. Hi there, this is TV's Nathan Fillion. Yeah, that one. I need you to hold a dress for me. We're good. Tara, I really need to talk to you about the Nathan Fillion thing. Oh, you're finally going to admit what a big liar you are. I'm going to roll on this. Okay. Continue. Actually, it might be better for you to hear it from someone else. Hi, Tara. I'm Nathan Fillion. You may know me from such shows as Two Guys Are Going to Pizza Place, or Castle, or Firefly, but probably Castle. I'm coming to your spring gala! How did you... Now say that thing we talked about. Oh, it's an inside joke? She'll think it's funny? Absolutely. Okay. I'll see you there, stupid, stupid Tara. <laughs>